pre-match preparation, what are your thoughts on that? I'm busy doing prep work for this coming weekend's NRL Championship match and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to see if we can maybe do a small YouTube series regarding preparation from brass prep all the way to the final product, rig setup, that sort of thing, dry firing, if I get time to get to all of that this week. I know it's a very short, uh, it's about four days left, but maybe see if we can help each other. Now, I've I thought of basically, I'm busy de decapping brass, and I'll explain to you guys the process I follow, the equipment I use, and I would like for you guys, if you would like to, and if possible, down in the comments. If you've got questions regarding what I do and equipment I use, feel free to ask. If you feel there's something I can do differently, please do comment. I am by no means a top reloader or a top shooter. Uh, I'm working hard to get there. But like so many other things in South Africa, I think we've got a very, very cool community when it comes to the sports shooting because we help each other. And that's what I would like for this series to be all about. So to basically start it off, first thing I do is I decap my uh, brass, like you should do, but I use a, re, uh, a reading decapping die, universal decapping die. You can use your full length sizing die, Just remove your, um, your expandable, and then basically just set it up so that it doesn't size while you, you decap. You can do it, but uh, I personally feel it's uh, it's not a good way to do it. So I use the reading decapping die, universal decapping die. I decap my brass. Obviously it's set up on the Omega reloading press. Now this press we designed um, myself and the company we are in partnership with. In South Africa we manufacture it here, we sell it, we distribute it. It's an awesome press. Really it is an awesome press, but straight off the bat, the very first piece of equipment I use is not something you need. It is expensive and I do feel it does give a very, it gives a bigger advantage to the competitive shooter, the long range shooter. Somebody that reloads a lot for a lot of different calibers, really looking for superb accuracy. I've got currently on this turret, I've got three calibers set up, 6.5, 6 millimeter, 306 and I've got two, three other calibers. So it's easy, they're all set up. I can decap them, I can size them, I can mandrel them, I can see uh, bullets in them, take this turret off, put the other turret on with the other calipers and just carry on. So no need to remove a die, put it back on, readjust it according to what you need to do. It's very time consuming, it eats up a lot of your time. So yes, a turret press, you can go with an Omega, you can go with a Reading, you can go with a Lyman, there's, there's a lot of options out there. Um, but I prefer obviously going with this, main reason I do sell them, but I've, I've just been blown away by this. Um, obviously, if you decap, uh, put in a piece of brass there, decaps, suspend primer runs down, um, down the ram up to a little section, and then you've got a small tray here that catches up your spent primers. You can just throw it away, put it back in there. So, obviously, in the series, I'll, I'll run through the Omega Press as well. When we come to, um, I do full length sizing, shoulder bumps. Maybe see if we can run through 20, 30, 40, 50 pieces of brass and show you guys how accurate it actually is when doing your shoulder bumps, how accurate it is when seating bullets based to OJ. So my process is I decap. From this I go on to a wet tumble for my brass in a stainless steel wet tumbler. After that, I uh, anneal my brass. I am currently still using a flame annealer. I, I do think if you... I feel if you've set it up, it, it does take a little bit of time to get it done, but if you've, if you've set it up perfectly, it, it does work very, very good. Obviously, there's a lot of, the induction annealer is better, but they are expensive. But more about that when we come to the annealing process. So what do you use? What press are you currently using? What do you prefer? Do you use a universal decapping die? Is there anything you think or feel I can do differently in that process? Sorry, just lost the light there. <laughs> so, yes, um, first video in the series. I'll take you through everything I do this week. It's, it's going to be a bit time consuming pushing it in in between month and week with the store and 
prepping for this coming weekend. But yes, I use the Omega reloading press when it comes from decapping all the way through to seating apart from priming. This press does not support the function of priming your brass as I feel it is more accurate when you go to a bench primer or a hand primer. So guys, I am busy. That's actually, I am busy prepping for next weekend's NRL Hunter match as well. If you're interested in the precision rifle sport, you haven't pulled the, to get to a, a match yet. This coming weekend, the NRL championship match is at Marlua Range. You can go to practice call onto the NRL Facebook page, website, go register, come and join us. It is going to be awesome. The best of the best is going to be there. Amateur shooters are going to be there. Rookies are going to be there. Everybody helps each other. That's the probably the main thing I really, really love about the NRL specific, especially in South Africa. The camaraderie of the NRL community is just awesome. Uh, within 24 to 48 hours after the registrations open, I think there was already over 50 shooters that was registered. Yes, when you go to the US, something like that, that's a very low number. In South Africa, that's awesome. Uh, I think they, they are approaching about 70 uh, registered shooters between 60 and 70 already for the weekend. That's good. That's, that's, that's a very big match for us in South Africa. And even if you haven't gone to a match, you haven't shot one, you don't have to be a ranked shooter. You can register, pay, pitch up, come and enjoy it with us. Oh, if you don't have the money, the first person to tell me, I'll, I'll make a plan and see if we can get you in for this weekend. Next weekend, NRL Hunter match at Red Sand Safaris. Neil, awesome guy, outfitter, PH, he's been building on this match, he's been working hard. NRL Hunter in South Africa is the place to do NRL Hunter. And in Limpopo, in the heat of November, in the bushveld, you guys really need to come and experience it. So if you are still on the fence about NRL Hunter, Again, go to Practice Score, NRL website, go and register, come and join us next weekend. It is going to be awesome. And uh, yes, I hope we can go through this series. This will probably be reloading it a bit more, not to uh, at all tell you guys how to do it. Um, I'm still learning every day. Informative. Let's help each other, see how we can better our reloading, how we can better our shooting without blowing the bank. Obviously, if you can do it and you can afford it, there is awesome equipment out there, but there's obviously a bigger percentage of, um, of guys out there, girls out there, that really want to get into the sport, but they just don't have all the information about not spending your entire salary on, on equipment. So, um, guys, I'm looking forward to it. If there's anything, drop it down in the comments, and uh, yeah, let's grow the channel. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe and uh, let's see if we can grow it so i can help you guys and we can help each other grow in the sport thanks guys and see you soon